Hi everyone, John here. Just want to share with you my experience with the liver cleanse as outlined by Andreas Moritz. I've done it five times already, and all five of them have been quite productive. Just want to share with you what I've learned so far. As we're looking at our digestive system, we can see that it's a very long piece of pipe work. Food enters your mouth, down the pharynx, into the esophagus, into your stomach. Digestive enzymes come in to break down the food. Food enters your small intestines next, which can get as long as 15 to 20 feet, followed by your large intestine, another 5 feet, feces formation, then finally out the back for elimination. So what are the functions of your liver, which is the largest internal organ you have? Filters waste materials from the blood, stores vitamins and minerals, regulates blood sugar levels, produces bile for digestion, hormone regulation, and many other functions. Now, if you're watching this, you all have a digestive system looking just like this. Learn to see me as a brother instead of two distant strangers, as Tupac would say. Looking at the body mechanically, we may have congestion with gallstones in the gallbladder, gallstones in the liver, which is areas of congestion. You can see we have the common heptic duct right here, and these are intraheptic ducts. And everything goes through this common bile duct, straight into the first part of your small intestine. A closer look, here we have gallstones. You may have them in your gallbladder. As you're working with the protocol, you're releasing them into the first part of your small intestine. The small intestine can get as long as 15 to 20 feet. The job with the small intestine is to absorb and to assimilate. After my first liver cleanse, I felt quite ill and nauseous because additional gallstones were released into the small intestines and my body was trying to assimilate. I want you guys to avoid this. So I want to teach you how you guys can clean out this piece of pipe work comprehensively. These are the ingredients you need. Apple cider vinegar, pink salt, lemons or limes, I've used grapefruits, and also a little bit of coffee. This is called the salt flush protocol. You may find other recipes online. This is how I make it. The night before, finish dinner before 7.30. The next morning around 11 a.m., 12 p.m., on an empty stomach, make this in thermos. Add one tablespoon and two teaspoons of pink salt. Cut and squeeze three lemons or limes, or if you want to use grapefruit, that's okay as well. You want to add a quarter cup, apple cider vinegar. Add three and a half cups of hot water, stir. And then you want to add another two cups of room temperature water, stir. Over here, you have your salt plus solution in a thermos that you just created. You have another bottle of water. This is about eight cups of just room temperature water and black coffee over here. I've been doing this protocol since 2019. This is what I do. I take a small sip of the water, hold it in my mouth, and then I proceed taking a bigger gulp of the salt flush solution down the hatch, you understand? And then I drink a little bit of black coffee to reward myself. Take a small sip of the water, hold it in my mouth, take a big gulp of the salt flush solution down the hatch, drink it down, follow up with a little bit of coffee to reward myself. And I just repeat this over and over and over. But the goal is to finish the salt flush solution first. This protocol will produce a laxative effect. After a while, you're going to have this urge to use the restroom. You're going to first come in out with some solids, and it's going to transition over to soft poop, okay? And it's just going to get softer and softer. You're going to go to the restroom multiple times. Because you're doing what you're doing here, you're cleaning out this pipe right here. Your small and large intestines combined. Now, after it gets more watery, what you want to do, you want to pound this water. You want to add more water pressure into your system to really flush out any debris. And what you're going to get next is really, really soft poo, followed by just torn water, lots of it. I'm talking about savage. After I do all that, then I go into the liver cleanse protocol as outlined by Andreas Moritz. Taking a quick look at this doc and I will include it in the comments below. Over here, I start doing the protocol, the selfless protocol around 12 p.m. Okay, finishing around 4. So at 6 p.m., I want to drink the first serving of the Epsom salt. Another one at 8 p.m., right? At 9.45, I start to prepare that olive oil with the grapefruits juices mixed together. And at 10 p.m., I drink the liver cleanse solution, brush my teeth, go to bed, drink the third serving of essence salt at 6 a.m., 
and another one at 8 a.m. It's going to produce a lasted effect. Now, when this starts to happen, I jump into another self flush protocol. Here's an important reason why. Gallstones are stuck in your small and large intestines right now. Most of it in your small intestines because it's 15 to 20 feet in length. You need a way to flush out all the gallstones that were released. Now, a lot of people, they go for colonic or coffee enema, and I think there's a lot of merit to them as well. But I do not believe even the colon hydrotherapy can reach your small intestine. This is the reason why I think it's important to at least learn about these other protocols that may assist you with the liver cleanse protocol. Next, I want to talk about parasites and the possibility you need to deal with these guys first before talking about a liver cleanse. Over here, we have the tapeworm, roundworm, pinworms, liver flukes. There are many different ways you can get parasites into your body through raw foods or through our pets. And even if you're a vegan, if you're eating raw watercress, these guys can get into your system. These are called liver flukes. Spend some time understanding the life cycle of these different parasites. And my current realization is that we are dealing with apex predators. What I mean by that is if you have a pride of lions and they go after some wildebeest, now the first thing they're going to do, they're going to open up that wildebeest, they're going to start to consume its internal organs, such as the liver, heart, different things like that, because of its nutritional value. Parasites, they know this too. They also hunt in packs. They know how to penetrate through intestinal walls, and they target the liver. A key word that I learned this year is called sister sarcosis. When you have parasites that penetrate through the intestinal walls, they start to consume the liver. The liver is going to try to protect the self. It's trying to encapsulate. It's going to kill the parasites and encapsulate it. But over time, it creates a cyst just like this. When you're passing out gallstones, when you're passing out liver stones, sometimes it's not just environmental toxins. It could be parasitic invasions, and your body had to protect itself. It's just like an oyster. Why does it create a pearl? Okay, because there are parasites that were trying to attack the oyster. The oyster is going to secrete protein, calcium to encapsulate that parasite into a pearl. Very similar to how our human body responds to outside invaders. You want to study up on different herbal blends and also medications that can help you fight against parasites. I've taken Intestine Pro, Panicura C, and also Vermox, and other ones. The reason why you want to take different types of parasite drugs simply because there are many different types of parasites and different drugs, they target different parasites. None of this is professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Continue to do your own research. When we're talking about the liver cleanse protocol, this is the roadmap that I went through. I did not just jump into a liver cleanse right away. Since 2019, I was getting really proficient with the cell flush protocol. I got really good at cleaning out my small and large intestines. Week in, week out, week in, week out, just once a week. Later, I learned about these parasites. So I started to go to war with my internal parasites. When you take these different herbal blends and different drugs fighting against parasites, there are going to be a whole bunch of dead parasites stuck in your body. So what do you got to do? You got to flush them out with the salt flush protocol, right? So this is another one you want to be proficient with. So get the whole pipe cleaned out. First with the salt flush protocol, followed by going to war with your internal parasites and also flushing out the dead carcasses. Then how I've been doing my liver cleanses now is first I clean out the small and large intestines first, okay, followed by the liver cleanse protocol and followed by another self flush protocol because I don't have a colonic center close to me and this is my way of cleaning out both the small and large intestines combined getting all the gallstones out of my body as fast as possible. Thank you so much for taking your time to watch this presentation. My name is John. I look forward to connecting with you in the comments below. Have an amazing rest of your week.